Uncharted is based off the PlayStation video game of the same name. And of course, there are Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg as Nathan Drake and Sully. Plot of this movie is Drake is recruited by Sully in order to raise a billionaire, Santiago Moncada, and a mercenary, Joe Bardock, or Bardock, however you want to say it, to the location of a fabled treasure and the Magellan Expedition. This right here, I had me a good time watching, okay? Uncharted is probably the best easy watch I think I've had this year for an action comedy. It's lighthearted and knows how it, what it wants to do. There's no BS politics in here. There's none of that. It's just straight to the point for an hour and 55 minute movie. So it's just under two hours and it gets to its point quick. Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland, they do have good chemistry in here. It takes them in to get flowing, but when it does, they are the best. Okay. Probably another one of my favorite Mark Wahlberg movies with him in it. Uncharted is not the point. The one that does it is the one that gets it done quick, which is what I like. My one negative about Uncharted, I wish we had more Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas is criminally underutilized in this movie. Criminally underutilized. I wish we had more of him because my other, the other villain in this movie, she's almost forgettable. When Antonio Banderas is on screen, he commands your attention because not only because of the legacy and the respect that we all have for him, it's the way he delivers his lines. Okay, he doesn't really sound bored, he sounds menacing with the voice he already has, like Morgan Freeman look, being cast as God. That just it just works, you know. He has the voice for it. <laughs> so, Antonio Banderas can play a villain anytime, and I would sit there and watch it. Other than that. The action sequences are probably my favorite ones here. And they keep it simple. We literally get the beginning and middle of Uncharted 3. What do I mean by that? We get Drake's prequel origins early, which is the start of Uncharted 3, no doubt, where the only thing they cut out is him going across rooftops and rooftops, I believe. It's just him and his brother talking, none place. And then she leave, he leaves and he leaves them there. And then the airplane sequence where he's literally hanging out of the back of a C-130 with cargo on the back of it. The only other gripe I wish they would not show. Usually movies have this thing where they start the movie right at the biggest action point in the movie. And then they're like, okay, now we're going to go and show you how we got there. That does that here. And I can't stand that. I hate it when movies do that. It's like overblowing your biggest money maker early. If you could, if that makes any sense, I hate when they do that. Other than that, it was still a fun time. I can't wait for Uncharted 2. I kind of hope they do the train sequence or something from the first game. I did read a report that the director wants to do the car chase from Uncharted 4, which would not be bad. Problem is, I seen it when I was in my high school years when Bad Boys 2 came out. That was technically the same type of chase. So, I want to know how you're going to differentiate that besides, you know, being PG-13. So, we'll find out. Let me know what you guys think about Uncharted down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I will catch you guys in the next one.